Hey there, hope you are doing well. I welcome you back to my channel Automate with Rakesh and please do subscribe and hit on the bell icon to stay up to date on UiPath. In this video, we are going to learn how do you round off decimals in UiPath. So to demonstrate this, what I have done, I have opened an Excel file and I have typed few random you know double numbers or decimal numbers you can see 1.285 similar like that you know I have typed few numbers so how do I round off there will be requirements wherein you would need to round off to two digits round off to zero you know you don't want any anything after uh, decimal or round off to three so these are the different requirements how this can be achieved how can you round off decimals in UI path let's see that okay so we are going to design everything now for this design there are two different ways to do it you know I am going to use the classic way I am using the classic activities so I am going to the filter option hitting on show classic this classic activities are nothing but these are the old activities of Excel I am going to use Excel anything okay and any old activities you would like to find enable classic so the first thing I will do because the data are available in the Excel file I will use something called Excel application scope so if you can see the modern activities has got a green color Excel icon the older one did not had so I'm using the older classic activities reason being there are many projects on UI path which were built they still run on the older classic activities and it is always important to learn everything okay so I have got the Excel application scope the very first thing I should do is point out to the Excel file let me select that go to my documents select the file okay once this is done next next thing I need to read the data from the Excel so for that I'll use a activity called read range again I'm using a classic activity and here you need to verify which sheet number the values are so the values right now in the sheet number two so what I will do I will simply define a sheet number two okay let me increase the font size of UAPA studio okay now here let me create a data table which is going to hold the data after reading the values from the Excel so that is DT1 data table variable okay now what I'm going to do I should be able to loop through the data so that I can convert this data and round off the decimals for this all I need to do is I have to use an activity called for each for each row in data table this is the activity which has been renamed earlier it was just for each row now it is for each row in data table okay so drag and drop this now here I need to define the variable simple now there are many people who have questions Rakesh can I change the current row variable to some other name yes you can definitely do it there is no restrictions you can definitely give your own name like current row 1 current row 2 when in a project you have to use for each row multiple times you can't use the same variable you need to rename it so of course it is possible if you change it doesn't matter okay now how do I the main fact here is how do I round off the decimal values after reading it from the Excel so for that I am using an assign activity okay now in the assign activity in the to field to store the newly generated value I am going to create a value a variable called new value so after converting that value um, you know the value will get stored in the something called new value okay just to you know make it easy to understand now here the question is how do I really uh, change it so the formula for that is the syntax for that is math is the namespace that I have to use because it's a mathematical conversion ha happening right from one form to the other form so math dot round off okay there is something called round so this is the property that you need to use using this is very simple all you have to do is simply I'm mentioning math dot round you have to give the variable name comma how many numbers like the two digit round off three digit round off zero round off. if you want zero round off, just leave it as it is so it will become zero so if you want to give two digit so this is the syntax make a note of the syntax okay but here as we are in the current row we have to apply a proper format right so that is the syntax we have learned okay after learning the syntax within the parenthesis 
I need to access the value of the Excel. So those values are there in the current row because we are running in the for each loop, right? So I will simply say current row, okay? Current row and then within double, um, yeah, current row within parenthesis, I am going to use double quote and define the name or write the name of the column number one okay so i'm going to write the name of the column math round current row number one which is nothing but so this entire value right output of this value is nothing but the value that is there in the excel file right as the loop is running it will go and capture the next values okay so entire thing is understood now after this because the values that are coming from excel right the values that are coming from excel generally they will be of general type or string type if you see if you look at these are all general data type or string type now this general data type will have a problem for example if i say comma 2 if let's say i would like to round it off to 2 if i click on okay do you see there is an error the error says encountered processing expression math round it cannot really process because the data type is not very clear the, the data that is being read from the excel with this is not very clear so for that what I have to do, I will use another namespace called convert dot to double. Double is nothing but anything has a dot, right? Anything has a decimal will become a double. So decimal floating numbers, right? So here two double and I'm going to put all these values inside this. So what would happen? It is going to convert that to double a floating value and then it will do. So now you see the error has gone, getting it. So this is the exact syntax I have to write when I have to deal with you know a round of decimals with an with an excel so this is done so this is going to round up the value and it is going to store the value to new value now the new value has also to be decimal right otherwise it won't uh, capture so again you can make it to browse for types and simply type decimal there is something called system decimal okay system dot decimal just the moment you select system dot decimal click on ok so this is going to hold the value uh, okay uh, okay what is what is wrong what is wrong what is wrong let me change it control G um, here it is saying system dot double to type system dot string in assign activity okay so I have done that right so let me select new value and system dot not decimal double okay sorry i typed decimal double okay um and then you would find something called system dot double click on okay okay that error should be gone understood now here the trick comes as to how do i write the values uh, am i going to use a write cell really not required all you have to do is use another assign activity or else the same here only in the here only you can write it but it's okay i am using two assign activities and here all i am going to say current row in the bracket right i am going to provide the name of the column right so that represents that value now what i am saying replace the current value with the new value okay so this represents your data table right so this the current value the loop when it's running it is holding this value so replace this with a new value that's all i'm saying and while the loop runs it is keep on replacing the values okay now it is all happening in the data table finally you have to write it back to the excel to write it back to the excel you know come out of the for each loop inside the do section of this i'm going to use a write range activity write <coughs> range activity again a classic activity i'm trying to use and here i have to make it to sheet 2 because it need to write all over the sheet i can just remove this leave it blank and all i have to say dt1 okay getting it that's all now look at our data it has so many digits now it should automatically convert itself to two digit decimals so if i run it now and wait for few seconds it should automatically convert a round of the data to, deci to uh, decimals. So what happened? What went wrong here? You see the header has also been removed. This generally happens with a classic activity or the older activities. 
people tend to forget the add header option okay you need to enable add headers okay let me do that so let's uh, uh, so now insert above and I'm going to say number one column name and then uh, these are the values now let's say I, I, I want to round up to zero okay I don't want any decimal values it should round up to zero now to round up it to zero or uh, what should I do see it did not do it properly do you see it did not really work so while writing it is important that I do it so let me run it again the same this one So while using classic activity in right cell, that is very important to enable the add headers. Okay, okay, let's wait. So you can, now you can see it has done the job properly. Okay, so it has rounded off to two two decimal. Now why it has become one? Did I write a zero? Okay, let me try again. So if I run it again, this should stay 98 only. Okay, 99. Okay, okay, fine. It's working fine. Okay. Now let's say I would like to make it to uh, zero. So if I I do not want any digits after decimal, all I have to do is remove this. Okay. Remove this. Click on OK and now run file. Okay. Now it should remove all the decimal values and keep only single digits. So you can see it has kept it only single digits okay so dot 5 has become if you see this has changed to 6 5 dot something it was right so uh, this one 200 it become 201 so all this will automatically happen for you okay so this is the trick guys all i have to remember is math dot round and how to use the syntax and how to round up the values when it comes to excel what is the trick we have to apply we have learned in this video so thank you guys for watching uh, please do subscribe in case you have not done it already. Please do subscribe. Please do like the videos and hit on the notification icon. This is very important. As soon as I upload any videos, you will get a notification and you can spend few minutes to learn a great topic on your iPath. So please do subscribe. Thank you guys. We are going to once again meet in our next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.